All right, all right. Cutting her off early on. Now, usually, um, I've always liked to say that uh, I don't cut people off. People cut themselves off. And that and that's mostly due to them not wanting to be around you. So they'll just end up walking away, depending on the type of person you are. That's usually been my experience. But I realize, you know, as time went on, some people do like to stick around to get what they want out of a situation or how they can use you. Then they'll leave, but they'll leave you in pieces or they'll leave you hurt or whatever the case. Like, you know, you, you left behind having to, um, to deal with the loss. So I think it is important um, especially for the man to know early on that she's not trying to stick around. And the way you do this is, uh, you know, it goes back to kind of some of the ways I kind of look at the feminine. Um, and I, I still see her as a rib. Now, I won't go too deep in detail on this, but what I will what I will say is uh, she's supposed to be in attachment to a man. However, it's just like with any surgery, any implant or transplant, your body, your immune system has to accept this new piece being added to you or else it's it could be almost a life threatening situation if your body rejects this thing that's being implanted or transplanted to you as an attachment okay so and this is due to the fact that your body just knows that it's a foreign um object it's uh something infectious about it so that's the thing with a lot of the feminine that are mostly the lesser feminine most of them are infectious, and deep down inside, a man actually knows this early. You know about certain red flags early, especially if you are more embedded in your principles as you get older. You know red flags early, but oftentimes, you still obviously want to have some type of company amongst that particular feminine, but you have to look past that. You have to look at the fact that Something is not right about her. And, you know, you see her disposition. It could be something as simple as she smokes. Okay, she's not someone that needs to be around you. Yes, as simple as that is and as petty as that might sound on her end for you to even look at her a certain way. Well, that that's you. You, you don't want that around you. If you're not a smoker, you don't like someone that smokes. If she cusses, you don't like someone that cusses it's little things like that because here's the thing in order for that thing to be attached to you it has to be uh sterilized just like you know when they do certain procedures at hospitals and if that's the thing that she's not willing to sterilize for you to be around you then she shouldn't be around you that's why you cut her off early on you don't even let that become attached to you. You don't even let her have the right to be attached to you. And so, you know, it's just more or less mastering the art of not getting emotionally attached to something that's ultimately infectious from the start. Because all it's going to do is spread to other parts of your body, and then it becomes literally life-threatening to you given how she's been around you, given how she's been treating you, and given how altogether the result of it is death. It, it's going to be the end of another relationship in that regards to death. She's not trying to be attached to you. She's literally trying to uh, infect you. Thanks a million.